Hey guys, Lindsay here. And Marissa. And we are gonna take down the water barrels for the winter and we thought we'd run through them because I don't think we've ever shown you guys our water, water barrel system. Let's take a look. So this downspout captures all of the rain from this side of the roof. So we capture half of the rain hitting our roof every time it rains. Yep, so basically it will come down this downspout. We have an elbow here. We took a piece, a piece of a uh, gutter. Yeah. And essentially just dropped it into this barrel. So these barrels are all tied together. Um, so it fills in this side and it will automatically fill all four barrels at once. Do we um, have rain in here? I don't know, actually. We do. You see it? Um, maybe. <laughs> so essentially, this is what I found to actually screen out some of the gunk that comes off of our roof. I'm not sure what this is actually for. I think it's something with a shower, but there's an inner piece here. Um, put some just mesh that you'd use on a screen. Screen, not mesh. Well, screen mesh. Mm -hmm. And it goes in there. The circle keeps it from actually falling in. That goes there. Here's our overflow spout. And essentially, since they're all tied together, I put ball valves on each one in case one of them springs a leak. Um, because since they are all, since they are all tied together, they will, um, if one springs a leak, it will drain the whole system. So I have them independently where you can turn them on and off. Um, and also, since we live in Minnesota and it rains and snows and freezes here, I put some couplers on so it makes it easy to disassemble because we don't keep them out during the winter. And how long does it take for the barrels to fill up? Not as long as you would think. Marissa actually thought it was going to take forever and it got filled in what, about a half an hour? Since they are all tied together, you don't need to have, worry about having a hose come off of every um, single barrel. It just comes off of that one end spout. And we have a splitter, so basically we um, go to the garden. And I, have, I didn't set it up this, this year because Marissa made a lot of garden beds. But typically that this one will go to a drip system in the garden. And then this one is where you can actually just fill up like a watering can or stuff like that, so. Show us. <laughs> Water. So it's got pretty good pressure. We have them on two cinder blocks. We're gonna basically drain it, clean out the barrels, take off the lids, and I'll tape that. I'll just set up the tripod, tape that, and you can see me do it. So, and why are we doing it today? Well, because tomorrow is supposed to snow a little bit in the morning. Snow showers. And also, it's about 50, and the rest, like the five-day forecast, is going to be about what 40s, 30s. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, this is just the system that I and YouTube, through the help of YouTube, figured out. So, if you have other like ways that you've done rain barrels. If you have any suggestions, comments, questions, let us know in the comments. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Peace. So we are about to drain the system. So turning that on and this is a pretty decent flow. So we'll get the peach tree then the apple tree, and then some of the perennials back there. That's it! Come here! Sit! Oh, little boy.
and done. Here you go.